Hey, this is Jim with Diesel Geek, and today we're going to show you how to adjust a stock 5 speed shifter on an O2A or MQ250 transmission. This transmission was used from, from 2000 to current times, uh, 2013 um, cars that are out now. Um, the 2013 car, the 2006 to 2013 MQ250, this part looks a little different, but this is a one, uh, a uh, O2J transmission. So anyway, um, this is the locking lever over here, and this is um, this is what you need to lock the mechanism in the home position. When it's pointing straight up, that's the home position. So um, we're gonna go ahead and we have it locked. We're gonna open the cable ends. So um, these fingers are open. Uh, the cables are free to move back and forth. So then we're gonna go inside the car. And we've taken, we're doing this outside the car, obviously, to show you more clearly the process. And we're gonna pin the, the uh, shifter inside the car with the five millimeter pin. We have a whole video on this five millimeter pin. Uh, you can use a five millimeter drill bit, uh, which you can get locally. All of our shifters come with the five millimeter pin like this, uh, precision fit pin. So we're, we're down through this hole and then through this hole inside the car and that locks the mechanism into the home position. We're gonna go back out into the, into the engine bay, and this is the engine bay, and we're going to, we have the transmission lock. We're gonna pull all the slack out of the, trans, out of the cable, and then at that point, we're gonna turn the, the knurled ring right here, we're gonna turn it counterclockwise, and it's gonna release, and then grab the cable. And we're gonna do that up in this side-to-side -side cable. This is a much more, critical uh, cable to get to get correct because it controls the accuracy of the shifter. So we're going to pull the cable out, we're going to pull all the slack out, and then we're going to turn the ring counterclockwise and let it snap. Then we can go ahead and push down a little bit on the shifter, on this counterweight, and that unlocks the L-shaped locking pin. And we're going to take the nail out from inside the car, and then we can cycle the shifter. You just want it to be nice and smooth when you go down to the first, second gear gate. You want it to be nice and smooth when it goes into first and second. And then third and fourth. And then fifth gear. And then reverse is all the way down and forward. And that's a perfect adjustment. Now there's another way to adjust this. That is, if your locking pin, there have been several people whose locking pin has been broken. Um, it's a plastic pin, it sticks inside the shaft, down in, inside the transmission, and you can shear it off if you try to shift the transmission with the pin in, or you try to tighten this nut um, with the pin in. So if you've sheared off your pin and it just kind of goes around and around, it doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to lock, see if it's locked, the, the chrome weight will not move up and down. It won't rotate, it won't move up and down. You can see the pin move when I do that. You don't want to torque this pin, it'll just rip the, the tip right off of it. So if your pin is broken, and there have been plenty of people with broken pins, we're gonna do this adjustment without the locking pin. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open the cable ends, which is like this, and then go inside the car with your five millimeter pin, you can, um, five millimeter drill bit, you want a good fitting part. We have a whole video on it, like I said before. I'm gonna go ahead and pin the shifter inside the car, go back into the engine bay, and um, you're going to pull all the slack. Well, first you're going to go down a, just a little, about a quarter of an inch, quarter, a third of an inch, and rotate it clockwise. And that's going to put it in either first or second gear, I can't remember. It's in the first and second gear gate. So it's at the height of the first and second gear gate. You can still see there's a lot of movement here. And what you want to do is you want to pull all the slack out of the system. And that's shown right here. Right here. And so you want to pull all the slack out. And then at that point, once you get all the slack out, then you want to release the cable end and do the same on the front to back cable. Is you pull all the slack out. Well, no. That's sorry. The next step after you've done the side to side cable is to rotate it back into neutral, which is like that. And in neutral, this white slider is going to be in the middle 
uh, it's in the middle of this chrome piece that's neutral um, it won't move up and down at this point because we have the shifter locked inside the car but then once you have this back in neutral you can go ahead and pull the slack out and then release the cable end so go back inside the car pull the pin and then cycle the shifter so first second third fourth fifth First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and, it, and it's first and second that are critical. If you get it right in first and second, you're going to be good everywhere else. So go down to first, second, and then you're done. So you've, you've achieved uh, alignment without having to use the locking pin. Um, you, it's critical though that you take the slack out of the cable before you release the cable ends because you're compressing all the slack in the cable toward the shifter and you're also taking up all the loose tolerance in the other side you know from this side on there's a lot of little slop in the system on a stock shifter that you want to pull it all out so um, your your adjustment is correct but after you've done that you've gotten it and that's pretty much it